Good evening. This is Night Suffrages for the 10th of August, the Feast of Lawrence, the Deacon and Martyr. And as we began, not last week while I was on vacation, but two weeks ago, we continue reading as our night devotional, Warrior of the Light by Paulo Coelho. The warrior of the light sometimes fights with those he loves. The man who defends his friends is no, never overwhelmed by the storms of life. He is strong enough to come through difficulties and carry on. He does, however, often face challenges from those he is trying to teach the art of the sword. His disciples provoke him into fighting with him. And the warrior demonstrates his abilities. With just a few blows, he disarms his students and harmony returns to the place where they meet. Why bother to do that when you are so much better than they are? asks a traveler. Because in challenging me, what they really want is to talk to me. And this is my way of keeping the dialogue open, replies the warrior. Holy God, holy and mighty, holy and immortal, have mercy on us. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, God's only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day, he rose again. He ascended into heaven. He is seated at the right hand of the Father, and he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Show us your mercy, O God, and grant us your salvation. Give us the joy of your saving help again, and sustain us with your bountiful spirit. Give peace in all the world, 
for only in you can we live in safety. Keep the nations under your care and guide us in the way of justice and truth. Let your way be known upon earth, your saving health among all nations. Let not the needy be forgotten, nor the hope of the poor be taken away. Create in me a clean heart, O God, and sustain me with your Holy Spirit. Lord, hear my prayer, and let my cry come before you. The Lord be with you. Let us pray. O God, our defender, storms rage around and within us and cause us to be afraid. Rescue your people from despair Deliver your sons and daughters from fear, and preserve us in the faith of your Son, Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord. Amen. Gracious God, in every age you have sent men and women who have given their lives in witness to your love and truth. Inspire us with the memory of Lawrence, whose faithfulness led to the way of the cross, and give us courage to bear full witness with our lives to your son's victory over sin and death. For he lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Keep watch, dear Lord, with those who work or watch or weep this night, and give your angels charge over those who sleep. Tend the sick, give rest to the weary, bless the dying, soothe the suffering, comfort the afflicted, shield the joyous, and all for your love's sake. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Almighty God, bless us, defend us from all evil, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. And the peace of Christ be with you always.